Hey everyone, Lonnie Lobb, lead technician with Stoller Technologies here. Today I'm going to tell you about the Dell PowerEdge T710. The T710 is kind of like the R710's slightly more capable big brother. Um, this has got the exact same layout, chipset, takes all the same, it's, it's just bigger and essentially holds more hard drives and more adding cards. But let's get down to the details here. It has the Intel 5520 chipset, which means we can take the Intel 5500 or 5600 quad core or six core CPUs. We've also got 18 DDR3 DIMMs where we can put a max of 192 gigabytes of memory in here. So this can be a virtualization beast if we needed to. We can take it to four gig if we needed to, as little or as much as you guys need. Okay. On these boxes, here's where the differences between the, the R710 and the T710 come in. We've either got an 8-bay, 3.5-inch hard drive uh, unit that'll take the, the SAS or SATA drives, or we've got a 16-bay, 2.5-inch option that'll take the, the SAS, SATA, or the SSDs. To control these, we've got an add-in, or we've got a, an internal uh, storage slot that will take a, if we're doing six gigabit per second drives, it'll take an H700 or an H200. The H700 does RAID 0 through essentially all the way through 60. The H200 does RAID 0, 1, or 10. If we're doing the three gig per second drives, then just the, the older stuff here, just nothing nothing fancy. We can do the, the Perk 6, the SAS 6IR, or the uh, the new software-based RAID from Dell, the S300 or the S100. The Perk 6 obviously does the RAID 0 through 60 as well. The SAS 6IR does a RAID 0 or 1. The Perk uh, S300 or 100, both of these will do a software RAID only for Windows systems, uh, RAID 0, 1, 5, or 10. Okay, this is the other part that makes us different than the, makes the T710 different than the R710. We've got plenty of expansion slots right here. We've got the, the main thing, we've got a 16X PCIe slot, so we can add in a video card if necessary, if we, if we need to do any kind of 3D rendering or anything like that, we can pop a card in here. There is no supplemental power, so it has to be a low wattage card, but we, if we need to, we can throw one in. If you've got any other PCIe 16X cards you want to throw in, it'll go in no problem, as long as it's compatible with the operating system. Okay, as well as the, the PCIe 16X, we've got four PCIe 8X slots and one PCIe 4X slot. The uh, internal storage adapter or inter internal storage slot is also a PCIe 4X slot. On board, we've got four Broadcom 5709C gigabit NICs. So if we were going to do virtualization, we're pretty well set up right from the get-go with a, a good selection of NICs. If you want to do more and add some in, we can do either Intel or Broadcom gigabit or 10 gigabit NICs in the, those add-in slots down there. We can also put in, if we're hooking up to a SAN or something like that, we can put in a, uh, a fiber HBA. We can go Emulux or QLogic, the 4 or 8 gig. Whatever you want to do, we can throw them in here. Okay, depending on what we put in this box, we can kind of scale the power supplies down, which is kind of the theme in, in all these newer systems from Dell. Uh, the T710 has the option for either 750 watt or 1100 watt, depending on what kind of CPUs we're running, or if we've got it filled with hard drives, or if we just have two hard drives. Okay, as for operating systems that could go in here, we've got any addition of Windows from 03 up to 08, R2, that will, will go in here without issue. We can also throw Linux on here. We can do SUSE Enterprise, Red Hat Enterprise. Uh, we can also throw Solaris on there. Any, any off the wall Linux that you want to put in here should be compatible with this hardware, no issues. If we're going to virtualize, we are compatible with VMware, uh, ESX 4.1, ESX 5. We can do Citrix Zen Server. We can also do Hyper-V for Microsoft, also a valid option. If we're doing the embedded hypervisor that we throw on the uh, SD card module, which would sit right here, then we can do ESX 4.1 is the only one available from Dell right now. We can also do uh, Server 8 
hypervisor in there. Okay, so now we've, we've gone through all of our options here. Let's talk management. With this particular unit and with all of the, the higher end 11 series, uh, 11th generation Dell servers, we've got the iDRAC 6 on the motherboard here. If we want a dedicated NIC for the iDRAC, we can throw in the iDRAC Enterprise. We've also got the Dell Lifecycle Controller, which we can load utilities and drivers to, to cover the entire life cycle of this server. So anywhere from driver updates to operating system updates later, it's, it's all copy your files there and you can manage it directly from that. We've also, since it's a PowerEdge server, we can throw Open Manage on it, manage this unit. If you're managing a whole data center full of servers, you can, you can load, do that as well. Like I said, this unit is essentially the bulkier brother for the R710, fully capable. Uh, we've got them in stock right now, so check out stikc.com, see what we've got. Thanks, guys.